Long ago in Russia, there was a small village nestled deep in the forest, connected to the outside world by a single road. And one day down that road there came whispers of a famine in the world beyond. Crops failing in the fields, people dying by the thousands. And the people of the village grew afraid that famine would claim them as well. So they went to the rabbi and said, Rabbi, save us. Work the miracle. And so the rabbi said that he would. For he looked into his people's eyes and into their hearts and he saw the fear that was coming to consume them. I will work the miracle, he said. He went to his study, consulted his books and charts to find just the right night when the moon was dark and the stars aligned. And on that night he gathered the people and he led them into the forest through hidden trails that only he knew until they came into a, a hidden glade. And there they built a fire. And on the fire he tossed sacred herbs. And when the smoke billowed out, thick and sweet, he told the story. The story of how the people had been enslaved in Egypt, fearing for their lives against the fury of Pharaoh of how they had prayed to God to work a miracle and save them, and God had called Moses from their midst, and how Moses had led them past the fury of Pharaoh's armies to the depths of the Red Sea and across the privations of the desert, and the people were saved. And on hearing this, the people's hearts grew calm. They went home, they slept easy that night, and in the morning set to work, gathering in their crops, filling their barns, storing the harvest against the famine that might come. And so, the village was saved. Years passed, a generation, and then down the road there came rumors of plague, sweeping the land, tens of thousands of people suffering and dying. And the people of the village grew afraid that plague would come down the road and take them. And they went to the, the rabbi, the son of the former rabbi. And they said, Rabbi, work the miracle, save us. And the rabbi looked in his people's eyes and in their hearts, and he could see the fear that was beginning to consume them, the panic taking hold, and he said, I will work the miracle. Now this rabbi was not the man his father was. <sighs> Which of us really is? He spent little time in study. He did not know what books held the charts of the sky and the moon. So he just gathered the people that night, led them through the hidden trails and into that hidden glade. There they built the fire and he tossed upon it the sacred herbs and the smoke billowed out thick and sweet and the rabbi told the story of the people enslaved in Egypt and the miracle that Moses works to free them and bring them safe to a new land. And the people went home and their hearts were easy. They slept well that night and they did not panic. And the village was spared. And the years went on. And one day, down the road, there came rumors of war. Armies sweeping across the land outside, of cities in flames, and people driven as refugees. And the people of the village grew afraid that war would march down the road and seize them. And they went to the rabbi, the grandson of the first rabbi, and said, Rabbi, Work the miracle. 
save us. And the rabbi looked in their hearts and saw the panic taking hold. And he said, I will work the miracle. Now this rabbi was not the man his father was. <sighs> he did not like to go out into the woods. He did not know the hidden trails, the glades. So he but gathered the people there in the middle of town that night and had them light a fire. He threw the sacred herbs upon the flames, and when the smoke billowed out thick and sweet, the rabbi told the story of the people imprisoned in Egypt and of the miracle God works to save them. And when the story was done, the people went home and their hearts were quiet. They did not panic. They sorted rumor and gossip from fact, and they acted accordingly, and the village was saved. And the years went on, and there came rumors coming down the road of death, stalking the outside world, of people dying by the tens of thousands, of cities left desolate and fields left empty. And the people grew afraid. They went to the rabbi, a new rabbi, a young man, come from outside. They said, Rabbi, you must work the miracle. Save us. Well, this rabbi had never learned about the stars and the moon. This rabbi had not been in the village long enough to explore the forest and find the hidden paths. He knew nothing about sacred herbs. But he gathered the people. And he told the story of the people imprisoned, enslaved in Egypt, crying out to God for a miracle. The story of Moses coming and leading the people past the fury of Pharaoh's armies through the depths of the angry seas and across the privations of the desert. And the people were saved. When the rabbi was done, the fear had subsided in everyone's hearts. And they went home calm to prepare for whatever might come, knowing that they could face it.